Hello guys, here's Graphite. In this new tutorial, I'll show you how to create this dynamic slide split screen animation. So let's get started. Here we are in After Effects. Let's create a new composition, 1920 by 1080. You can copy the presets of the composition if you like. We will create another composition with the same values as shown before, and rename it Final Comp and press OK. Drag the Comp 1 and place it in Final Comp and lock it. Select a footage and place it in Comp 1 and pre-compose that by going to Layer Pre-Compose or you can press Ctrl Shift C. Select Move All Attributes and rename it Slide Middle or whatever you want and press OK. Double click on the pre-compose layer and pre-compose the footage in it. You can rename it Video 1 or as you like. And you press OK. After that, we will repeat the same process for the four others' videos. When you're done, go to the pre-comp composition settings and make some changes. Put the width of the composition at 9600 because we're at full HD resolution and we need 5 videos on the screen. So 1920 multiply by 5 equal to 9600. When you're done, select each videos and display them as shown. Don't forget to enable the snapping option. It helps you to perfectly snap each video to the other. Make sure to perfectly snap each video to the other. So that everything must be aligned. Take a look. Perfect. Now go back to Comp 1 and on the Project panel, you will duplicate the pre-comp slide middle three times. You can go to Edit Duplicate or press Ctrl D. Rename the two duplicated comp to slide up and slide down. and drag them in Comp 1. Don't forget to enable your snapping. It's very important. Display each comp as shown. I changed their colors so that I should not be confused. Perfect. Now we'll create a null object. And rename it controller middle. We will duplicate the null two other times and rename it with name of the other comp below. For the 4 null object, we'll rename it Global Controller to control all the other layers.
Now, parent each comp to his name null object. And parent all the null to the global controller. Good. Now, let's start animating. Put two scale keyframes on the start and at one second of the timeline. For the second keyframe, put it at 35%. Enable the rulers by pressing Ctrl R to permit you to display the guides. The guides must be perfectly on the side of the video. It helps us as a reference, because everything must be perfectly aligned on the screen. We will start animating the scale of the global controller. We will enable blur to add some motion blur during the slide animation. We now animate the up and down videos. Don't forget, it must be aligned to the guide on the screen. Now, we will add an effect called motion tile and change the width to 150. Copy the effect and paste it on the down slide. Pay attention on how the graph of the keyframes are displayed. It's very important.
After animating the up and down slide, we will animate the middle slide. To fill the gap, just paste the effect on the middle slide. Sorry for some lags. I don't have a powerful computer. Align the keyframe graph with the others. So that, it must be perfectly aligned and smooth. When everything is in order, animation is more easier. Let's have a look. Nice. Let's adjust the keyframes for the last time. To make them for dynamic. Let's have another look. Perfect. We can now add our final touch to the video to make it more professional. Create a solide layer. Press Ctrl and double click on the rectangle to create a mask on the solid.
Select the mask and press Ctrl T to enable the transform option. Hold Ctrl and drag the transform line as shown. Inverse the mask and we're done. We have now a nice looking film look. Let us have a last look at the video. Superb! Thanks for regarding this tutorial. Hope you appreciate it. Like, share and don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming tutorials. It was Graphite. Have a great day.